Hello guys, as I promised today I'm back to talking about the command fprintf. That command is used to write the data in a text file. What I'm going to teach you in this video is how to use it to access and make a text in another program that does not belong to math work. But see, how is that possible? The answer is that is possible by using the command D or S, which is used to execute a specific DRS command for Windows platform. Guys, I want to emphasize that what I'm going to do here is just a simple example. You can take this idea, adapt and apply it to a specific problem according to your interests, all right? In summary, in this example, I want to draw a simple 3D structure in their software ATFS, which means High Frequency Structure Simulator. And it has the following appearance. That's the ATFS High Frequency Structure Simulator. That is a very useful software in telecommunication fields, and it was developed by NSOF. As you can see, uh, I don't have anything drawn here. Maybe you don't know, but the softwares like HFS and also like AutoCAD can run VBS code. I already have a VBS code here, which I developed to draw the, the rectangular to our example. So I will use this code and run it from MATLAB to draw the rectangular structure in HFS. All right. So let's start. Firstly, you need to create a VBS file, uh, which I will name, let me copy. I will copy this file here, there is no problem. Copy it, now, paste, and, more, and rename it to rectangular hfs.vbs. As you can see, the appearance of the file changed it from txt to vbs extension here represents the extension of the file and it means visual basic script after that i need to locate the file rectangular eight underline hfs and i can do that copy the path from here but that's not convenient because every time that i need to use that command i will have to copy the path to avoid that i will use the command pwd so type the following file path that is the path of my file is equal to pwd let's run it as you can see i have the path of my folder pwd is used to access uh, the folder you are you are using at the moment that is the correct folder but I, I want to access the file. I have the path of the fold, but I want to write in this file. Now, to access the file rectangular underline hfs.vbs, when I'm going to write my code, I will type the following command. hfs a script file is equal to strcat file path. Now with that command, I can access the file. See, it's different from this. Here, the the path is stopped here. Now I can locate the file I want to write in it. Rectangular underline HFS. But I need to put here the extension, dbf. Now that's correct. Now it's correct. It's important, you need to specify the extension of the file you use. With that, I can access the file that I want to modify. Now I'm going to write what I want to draw in HFS simulator. So as I told you, I already have the, com the code here. But firstly, I need to access this, this file, type in the following command, FUID, which means folder identification is equal to after you open that's it i'm opening that file that file rectangular let me open copying this here because that's the total path of my file and wt that command is used to to say i want to write in this file here right 
wt means write now i will let's copy the code all right and type in the following print f feid for the identification that means i'm going to write this command here in for the identification which has the following path you got it all right Now, you just need to copy this and paste in each part of your code. Now copy this part and repeat the process to each part of the code. Let's see, just a detail here. Okay, now I, I open the file, right in it, now I need to close this, that file. And to do that, type it, F, close, and the file, FEID. Alright, well, now I just finish my code, I wrote it in this file. And I'm going to execute it. And to do that, using the following command, exc exclamation mark, the name of the file you want to execute with the extension, right? That's important. Don't forget the extension of the file. And that's it. Let me show you again the HFS. There's nothing here, drawn in here. Let's run and see what happens. No problem, I forgot to put the F here. Now, as a, the code, there is a, an error in the code. I need to close because it, uh, it's EY is open. Now it's closed. Bit, run it. It, 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 that's Windows, it's normal because it, it is the, the Windows of the DOS command. You just need to close it. Let's see. That's it. That's our rectangular. I will erase it and repeat the process. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed each part